Hello viewers, I am Manoranjan Burman and you are watching my YouTube channel Medical Lab Tech. Today I am going to talk about AB1 RH blood grouping by tube method. So this tube method is almost similar with the slide method. Especially the principle and interpretation are almost the same. But there are minor differences in the procedure. Slide method and tube method for blood grouping are under forward grouping method. And there are another method which is known as the reverse method or reverse grouping. So in case of forward grouping we use red cells but in case of reverse grouping we use plasma or serum. Especially we use serum. So, now let's talk about the advantages of tube method. Tube method is more sensitive and reliable. So this tube method can be used for blood transfusion in the blood bank. Next is weaker antigen and antibody can be detected by this technique. There is no drying effect in the tube method, but there are drying effect in the slide method. Now let's move on to the principle of the test. The principle for determination of AB1 RH blood group is based on agglutination reaction or antigen antibody reaction. When antigen carrying one or both antigens are exposed to the corresponding antibodies then they will interact with each other and form visible agglutination. Now we are going to talk about the requirements of the test. So we need a blood grouping kit where there will be antisera A which will contain antibody A. There will be antisera B which will contain antibody B. And there will be antisera D which will contain antibody D. So these three antisera will be there in the blood grouping kit. Next we need three test tube. Then we need blood sample which will be EDTA blood sample. Next is pasteur pipette. With the help of pasteur pipette we are going to take the blood sample. Then we need 5% red cell suspension which will prepare from the blood sample. So if you want to know about preparation of 5% red cell suspension you can check the I button. Then we need a centrifuge machine. Now let's move on to the procedure. Prepare 5% red cell suspension in isotonic saline. If you do not know how to prepare 5% red cell suspension then you need to check the I button. You may think why we are preparing 5% red cell suspension. Here we need to find out the antigen on the red cell membrane. So the red cell has to be tested. And plasma or serum has to be removed because it contains antibodies and some protein substances. Otherwise these substances will disturb in the agglutination reaction. So we will wash the red cells with isotonic saline. Washing can also remove the fibrinogen which may cause small clots. In the step 2 we are going to take 3 test tube and we are going to mark this as A, B and D. Then we are going to add one drop of antisera A into the tube A. One drop of antisera B into the tube B. One drop of antisera D into the tube D. By using a pasteur pipette, we are going to add one drop of 5% red cell suspension into the each tube. Mix well and centrifuge all the three tubes at 1500 rpm at least for one minute. During the centrifugation, the rate of antigen and antibody interaction will increase. Always remember to balance the tube prior to centrifugation. Resuspend the cells by gentle agitation. Then observe for agglutinations. Next we are going to talk about the observation. If there is agglutination in the tube A, it will look like this. Agglutination in tube B will look like this. And agglutination in tube D will look like this. Now let's talk about the interpretation. The interpretation of tube method is same with the slide method. So you can compare the interpretation of tube method and slide method. I will put the link of slide method in the description below. You can compare and check. Please like, share and comment. And those who are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.